What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with Tesla Spy Infinity, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. I'm going to break down what's happening with the overall market thus far. What's going on with the big pieces of data that just came out. And with the whole Israel and Iran situation, how this all, all could end up affecting the markets moving forward. But before I break the devil's information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. I am firstly not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you guarantee 20 free stocks. If you deposit $25,000 or more, you guarantee 75 of them. And all friends very soon, in just about 11 days. Anyways, now let's break down what's happening to the market. Looking at SPIs, things attempt to push to its 20 EMA so far. We're going to be watching this resistance to see if we can pop a little bit more than eventually see this move back down. Because right now, we have some bad news. Unfortunately... Israel has once again striked Iran in retaliation, <coughs> excuse me, after Iran had its retaliatory attacks over the weekend. So if anything, it's just been back and forth, back and forth attacks bet between them. Uh, the extent of this attack is still to be known. Some are saying it's not that extreme, but either way, an attack is an attack. And Iran is not really giving us all the details about the full extent of the damage yet. It may take some time until that comes out. So I just want to say that this is horrendous news because Iran is going to most likely respond, okay? Iran is likely not going to just back down, sit around, and let this happen. The situation is just remaining very, very tense, highly escalated, and that's what matters for the market most. Once again, I don't like to pick sides. I don't like to say where this is all starting from or anything like that. I'm just simply saying that both sides are attacking each other. Uh, this is not peaceful, and this is very, very negative for the stock market and our economy because as time goes on, if these attacks persist, if Iran st strikes back as well, crude is going to start increasing soon. It may not be happening now, but in the future, it's going to start increasing more and more and more. And once crude starts going up and up and up, it's going to start driving inflation up higher over here. So we're just waiting to see how that's going to turn out. So a little bit negative news. Today is also Friday, April 19th, 2024. We have one Fed speaker at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Besides that, there's not a whole lot of data coming out. And American Express just announced its earnings. Then we have big earnings next week, like Big Tech. I'll talk more about the big earnings for next week a little bit later on. For now, for American Express, did relatively well. Ended up beating on many expectations with their net income hitting $2.4 billion. And then we also had $3.33 per share, uh, which is not bad whatsoever. Uh, that's another increase. So we had some pretty good earnings from them. Hoping to see if this continues. And their guidance moving forward is still pretty strong. So we saw the share price hold up quite well so for all decent earnings from amex i'll be looking at more earnings later on uh for now let me just mention that for today we have about uh very close to 1.2 million calls expiring we have over 3 million puts expiring with a 2.61 puts to call ratio the majority of positions are in puts right now so we'll have to see how this affects the markets that is some very, very big news, and we'll see if this causes kind of like a pump and dump, and if the market gets bought up at the end of the day, or if the market ends up squeezing. We'll just wait and see for now. For the Cybertruck, I just want to mention that Tesla's ordered to recall almost 4,000 Cybertrucks, so just be careful. Anyways, looking back at the charts, I just wanted to say that right now, we have this interesting trend where SPY kind of pumps and it dumps, pumps a bit and then it dumps, it's pumping a little bit, and then there might be another dump coming because, once again, we have a lot of negative news. On top of all of this, I just wanted to call out so that if you look at the weekly chart on SPY, uh, the weekly 20 EMA happens to be all the way down here, very close to the 494s. So you want to be very careful knowing that. Uh, that's where our potential target could be as we're looking kind of weak on the weekly. And we have negative news that has come out. So I want everyone to be very careful. So looking at SPY, you could see this trend where it likes to reject just a little bit above our 20 EMA. So we're going to be watching this resistance in the low 500s. To turn bullish, you want to see SPY continue to hold and not really get rejected through the 50 EMA. If SPY can hold above 502, even close above that, we're going to be likely trying to reverse. But my gut is telling me it might pop a little bit more from here than see a move back down to at least 495, if not 494, all the way back down. And the reason for that is because of what we're seeing with the overall markets because of this negative news involving Israel and Iran, and because of the fear that has happened in this current trend where we like to like pop in the mornings, then drop, pop in the morning, then drop, pop in the morning, then we might see another drop lower. So 
Watch and see if we get the one more pop, and then we could see a move back down into the mid 490s. And we'll see if the market gets bought up again at the end of the day, but there is a risk of some downside, in my personal opinion. Look at Tesla. This thing likes to kind of pop and drop, pop in the morning, then drop. It also just drops this morning before it's trying to come back up. So from how I see this, Tesla could retest the 20 EMA. We do like to kind of test this and reject off this. So the green line right there, that's going to be our 149 area. So we'll be watching to see if Tesla kind of rejects off here. Might pop here and then reject, come back down lower. If we do pop and drop, look at support at around 146.5 and 145, followed by 142. It might pop here, then eventually come back down lower. So watch for that as a strong possibility and watch resistance at 150. Tesla could reject and turn for a bit. NVIDIA, it may be doing the same thing, kind of pop just under our 50 EMA. Now it's coming down a little bit. We're going to be watching support at 834. If we lose this, look for 820. NVIDIA showing a little bit of weakness, which is not the best of signs for the QQQ. The triple Q loves to reject off our 20 EMA. We had one, two, three rejections off that. We could, we're could we testing it right now at 423.8. If we reject off this, look for a move back down towards 420, if not 418. There is a risk of some downs that kind of popped and dropped here, so watch for that. And then we also have uh, a few more, such as like Apple. Apple's also on a bit of a downtrend right now. It has popped to the 20 EMA. If you reject off 167, look for a move all the way back down to 165 and eventually 164. We could retest this and start dipping, so watch for that very, very carefully. Moving forward, uh, we also have a few more things worth discussing, like Coinbase. Uh, Coinbase has this range right here. As we try to push, look at this resistance. Do we end up projecting very close to 228 to 225, this resistance zone right here? If that's the case, we can be making a move back down. So watch 222 as support. If we lose that, it's going to dip lower. For Amazon, could push a little bit higher. We're going to be looking at resistance at 179.5, followed by 180. In that range, we could reject and start sinking lower. So watch for that very carefully. There is a slight downtrend on the charts. I could actually adjust this a little bit. Slight downtrend over here, so watch and see if this persists. Could pop a bit, then drop, so watch for that. Meta also has a slight downtrend. We're rejecting off this resistance. If we hit this, if we fail to break past 508, look for a move back down towards 497. So just be careful and just know the market has a risk of downside, at least for now. So the market may dip a little bit, but as we're popping and dropping, but just know that at the end of the day, things could change with all these puts expiring. So we'll see if the market kind of pops and then drops and later on gets bought up. But I'll wait for now. Just know there's a risk of downside because the situation in Iran still remains very tense, also with Israel. So we'll be very patient for now. We'll see how things go and just know there is a risk of some downside for today. All right, guys. So we'll see what happens. The market opens in about 15 minutes. Have a great day, guys. And I'll see you guys very soon in just a few hours. Thank you for listening. Uh, get ready for some high volatility and peace out.